Hey guys, I am going to show you how I'm going to paint this little lady. She is the third tour of the Alex edition and I recently changed her um, gender from boy into a girl. Today I'm going to start with the modeling uh, mixture which I make with uh, silk pick in this case. I have the red and I have a pre-mixed blue greenish. Uh, I use that actually for veins. If you combine those, you get this deep purple color, and I like that to start with uh, for the modeling later. So here I go. it is hard to see um, what I actually did on the baby you can see me do the layers but it's hard to see them so I was gonna make you a small close-up video so you can see the modeling on the baby which is really coming along nicely if you ask me and you can also see the veins going there one is going over here here on the skull between the eyes so it is starting to look really nicely, um, very pale still. So this is only the complexion layers that I just did and I will continue now with creasing. I have a pre-mixed uh, crease color, which is a combination of red and brown and uh, a little bit of blood color. It is a silky color. Um, I do like the colors of Sam's for it too, but um, I will use those more for blush.
here. I just baited a little lady to uh, get the rest of the matting powder off and I will dress her up, see what she looks like. So today turned out a bit different. I actually didn't like her um, end coloring after matting. It turned out way too pale. I don't know what happened, but that normally is not happening. So today, when I was holding my hand next to her, she looked like a dead baby, basically, or at least very ill. So um, today I did a extra layer of a very brown color to um, warm her up. And today I'm gonna powder again. So I'm very curious to see if it happens again. She is washed again, all matted and washed again. And I'm very happy because as you can see, she has a normal skin tone, no longer in an ill or even dead version pale but just not sure oh the light won't let me put her up so there she is all done